I was completely unfamiliar with child sex dolls. So I had, of course, to Google it last night. Um, it's a little scared to put it in my search engine, but I did. And um, apparently there is research on the subject. Not much, not much. But there are what they call MAPS, minor attracted persons. And the limited amount of research that's done on these dolls, guys, suggests that they actually, for people who are attracted to minors, that these dolls actually decrease their proclivity to go out and attack children. That it actually gives them a release that makes them less likely to go outside of their home. And, and what was interesting is the research did not support the same conclusions for people who were adult attracted using dolls that did not diminish their proclivity to engage other people. But for those which, with the, so I'm just a little concerned that, and, and, and like I say, the research is not very good. It is not comprehensive, but the research that is out there is conclusive. The ethical considerations surrounding the use of child sex dolls for harm reduction, it questions the alignment of advocating for such alternatives with individual ethical responsibilities. The discourse also examines concerns about normalizing pedophilic trends and attempts to mitigate harm, emphasizing the need for society to maintain stringent moral boundaries for child welfare. The potential societal repercussions of permitting child sex dolls raise worries about desensitization and inadvertent acceptance of pedophilic behavior. The discussion incorporates existing research and Senator Karen Berg's perspective, urging a critical examination of the reliability and ethics of such studies before policy decisions. Contemplating proposed legislation involves assessing whether criminalizing child sex doll possession effectively addresses the issue or poses risks to individual freedom and privacy. The exploration aims to find a delicate balance between addressing a serious problem and safeguarding fundamental rights. 